Greetings Internet, it's Monica and today I am going to be doing a little bit of a nostalgic video. Basically today is World Photography Day and inspired by that I am going to be looking back at some favorite memories that I have saved as photographs um, and picking out some books that remind me of those memories or that those photos remind me of or the people in those photos remind me of. I'm <laughs> a little bit nervous about this video because I've already filmed, tried filming it once and started crying because your girl struggles with nostalgia. <laughs> but I am excited for this video because I do think it's a lot more personal than a lot of my like book related videos tend to be and I don't know I just quite like that. This video is also a sponsored video. This video is being sponsored by Penguin in celebration of the upcoming release of a map of days by Ransom Riggs. This is the new Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children book. This one sounds really interesting to me because it takes place after the events of the first three books so it is sort of starting its own new arc but this one it takes place back where the story began in Florida but it's Jacob and then Miss Peregrine, Emma, and a few peculiar friends trying to just exist in Florida, blend in, in this atmosphere and I just think that sounds really interesting. When I think of Miss Peregrine's, I don't think Florida, you know? So that juxtaposition is just really interesting for me. If you're not familiar with the Miss Peregrine's world, it is inspired by these peculiar photos the author Ransom Riggs found. It's about a boy who follows the stories of his grandfather to an island where the peculiar children live and with them he battles monsters and discovers his own peculiarities. This book comes out on October 2nd, so thank you so much again to Penguin for sponsoring this video. Now let's jump into the photographs. So most of the photographs that I have are digital, they're on my phone, so I'm gonna have to like do an overlay with them on this video, but I have a couple physical ones. One of the first ones that I want to share is this one that I have of me and my dad. This was on my 16th birthday, it was my 16th birthday party, and it was fairy tale themed. So everyone was supposed to dress up like different fairy tales. I went as Cinderella, because your girl is extra. <laughs> um, but yeah, I this was such a fun day. Um, my dad actually ended up passing away about a year after this photo was taken. Um, but the book that this makes me think of, and just that when I read it, one of the reasons why I loved it so much was because of the relationship between the father and daughter is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han, which just came out on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, oh my goodness, what are you doing? It's so good. <laughs> like, it's such a beautiful, perfect adaptation and I love it so much. Um, but one of the things I adore about that book on top of many things is like, you know, I am half white half Korean. My dad was white, my mom is Korean. Um, so like I related to it in that element but there's something about like Lara Jean's relationship with her dad that just reminded me so much of my relationship growing up with my dad. Like, later on in the series when they're talking about like college and stuff and you know there's a lot of that that I relate to. Like I didn't get to really have those conversations with my dad but reading it was like really powerful for me because it was like I could kind of imagine what those conversations might have been like and this is when I start crying I'm gonna not do that on camera um but yeah I that's just like one of the things I I love so much about those books and why I relate so much to them but and yeah this is just like a favorite memory of mine dancing with my dad at my sweet 16 it's just a really fun night. I want to do a fun one for my next photo and it's this <laughs> ridiculous photo of me and a bunch of my friends in college. This was taken at a party in the bathroom. We had all sort of like found our way in this bathroom together. This like big house party. Uh, it was like a hot mess party. So we were all just dressed ridiculously and we were all total hot messes that night. And one of the thi one of the books that like I love particularly for its depiction of college is Fangirl. And one of the reasons why I love it is because it shows 
two distinct sides of that. Like you have Kath, who I adore, who very much so has, you know, much more quiet college experience. Like she's not really into the party scene and and all of that. But then you have her, your sister, her sister Ren, who is still like nerdy and has all those interests but is a bit into that world. I feel like a lot in YA there's sort of this idea like all of these protagonists are very like introverted and don't really like to go out like to stay in and read and I like obviously I love that but that's only like part of who I am as a person and I love going out and especially in college I went out all the time so it's kind of nice to like read about that kind of character. I like, I kind of wish that like we could have gotten a story from Ren's perspective too because I just adored her and I would have loved to like continue on with her. Obviously she had her issues and stuff to work through in that book but I just really liked that Rainbow Rowell sort of like depicted that in there. Next I have this photo which is like from both of these are actually me with brown hair, which is weird. This one is from New York City, and it's me, my sister, my niece, and my mom. And when I saw this, it immediately made me think about how much I love my family, like my whole family. And the book that I've paired with this photo is Save the Date by Morgan Matson. And the reason why is because I, when I was reading that book, I related so much to the main character, the way that she viewed her family. It was almost like she had this like mythology around her family and she just loved spending time with them and being around them and I relate so much to that like growing up like my favorite holidays were Thanksgiving and Christmas because I loved like going up to my aunt's house and like everyone would be there you know and and I just loved being around everyone and and having everyone together like that is something that I just value so much. Then I have this photo right here which is of me and between which is of myself and then uh, surrounding me are my aunt and my mom and I just love these two ladies. They are like two of the strongest, coolest people in the entire world. And <laughs> when I was reading Crazy Rich Asians, it just reminded me so much of my mom and my aunt. Not because they're like mean Asian ladies, but because like just the way that they talk to each other and like gossip about everyone and know everyone's business. Like I could say something to my mom, like give her some like update and like an hour later, pretty much everyone in my family would know because she would immediately call my aunt who would probably call my cousin, tell her, like all these different things. And so when I was reading that and I was like, if I ever did something that was like shocking to them in some way, like, oh man, <laughs> like it would be through the family circuit instantly. The next photo that I want to share is this great one of me when I was younger. I was really into dance as a child and was also, I was just like a ham and I loved performing. I, so I did dance. I, at one point in my toddlerliness, ended up being part of a toddler pageant at the local county fair, uh, <laughs> in which I was disqualified because I blew kisses at the judges, which I just think is absurd. But yeah, when I looked at this photo, I immediately thought about Harper from uh, Rebel Bell. It's basically about this like Southern Belle who ends up being turned into this like, like reincarnated warrior basically to protect this kid in her high school. And I loved it because she is this like Belle, she's like this super like hyper feminine teen girl and then she also like kicks butt and I just really liked that because like I like I wish that like I had more characters like that growing up because that was something that like I related to so much like I think that's why I loved Sailor Moon so much because she was lazy a crybaby but also a hero especially as a kid like I I loved stories about like princesses who also like 
fought evil because I loved really frilly things, but I also like wanted to be a hero and like loved adventure stories. So I loved, I love things that like mesh those together and sort of looking at this photo, it just made me think about that book and I think young me would have really loved Harper, like, like child, although I guess when I was that age I probably wouldn't have read Rebel Bell. <laughs> But I would have, if there was like an ad adaptation of it, I would have loved it. I have a very recent photo of this one, which is a photo of my mom with a cutout of Chen from XO. And this was taken a few days ago, actually. And I just had to share it because I, and I know this is like the second one with my mom. I just really like my mom. So hopefully y'all are okay with that. But one of the books that just I related to so much because of the depiction of the like parent and child was I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. This book is about a teen, a young girl who is just sort of like fails at love and so she ends up getting inspired by the Korean dramas that her dad watches in order to figure out how to get a boyfriend. And <laughs> I related so much to like so many of the scenes of her and her dad watching Korean dramas because like literally one of the scenes like had just happened between me and my mo mom as she was watching her Korean dramas and I was like, can we change the channel? Uh, <laughs> and it just like, and it's just like that little thing of like that experience of like watching this type of of media with a parent is just something that's like you don't realize how important that sort of representation is even though it seems silly until you get it and then it's like oh like this was my childhood this is my like existence and it's in a book and it's so cool i kind of wish i was home for this because i kind of had to rely on my mom just like sending me random photos and so i might do a follow-up to this next time i'm home and actually like pick out my own photos myself because I know that there are like some gems back there that I am excited to kind of like relate to books. I mean when I'm reading like so much, especially when I'm reading contemporary, and I feel like all of the books that I mentioned today were contemporary, uh, I am like constantly relating things back to my own life. I feel like everyone does that. So I, I don't know, I kind of like this idea and I might do it again. So I'd love to know if there are any books for you that like you just related to a lot that reminded you of like a specific memory in your own life. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk to y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!